Greetings. This video will cover how to create a multiple choice test on Blackboard for it to be taken by your students. The first thing that you will have to do is in your Blackboard homepage navigate over to the course tools control panel, click on it, and then select tests, surveys, and pools. Once you've done that, click on tests and then build test. So now you're in the test information panel and you'll have to write the name of this test. You just write test for this purposes, test number one. And underneath that, there will be a description of this test. After you've completed the description of the test, scroll down and write any instructions that are relevant for your students that they should know, such as a due date or if there's a time limit on this. Then click on submit. Next, you're going to click on create question, multiple choice. And now we're in the portion of the test creation where you actually create the multiple choice question. So type in the question title, or you could just simply put in the number. We'll go with question number one here. And as a sample, question will just have what is the name of the narrator in To Kill a Mockingbird. And we're going to have four multiple choice answers uh, as possibilities for this. So you've got your question text, great, scroll down, and now begin filling in answers. With this drop down menu next to number of answers, this is just basically a way to choose how many answers you want. If you're mean, you can have more than four answers, but typically four is the most common one. So let's begin adding in multiple choice answers. There's the second one. Then we're going to go with the third choice. And then finally, the fourth choice. Now you have to click on the checkbox next to each uh, answer possibility to indicate that it is the correct one. So since Scout is the main character of To Kill a Mockingbird, that is the correct answer. We have to indicate that. And then after we have done so, we can scroll down and press Submit. Success! The question has been created, and now you can see in your multiple choice question the different answers. You can press OK once you are done with that.